Hello, we are the Aerospace Steering Group of the Biometric Research Group. We are presenting the CANSAT NMOI on behalf of the University National of Engineers, Lima, Peru. We are a team composed of five students of Engineering, Physics, Physics, Electronic and Electrical Engineering. For our mission, we selected a type of CANSAT called a rubber compact. It's made of polylactic acid PLA with a density of 80% and its cover has a chauna shape. It has four systems. It has two wheels on its ends to generate a precision movement during descent and move on the ground. The attachment point for the parachute is located on one side at the top to generate the precision movement. The Raspberry Pi for computer vision is located on the top. The electronic system is located at the bottom. In the middle, there is a servo motor that tilts the camera towards the QR code. This system integrates several sensors and components. Among them, we find an IMU that provides information about the linear and angular acceleration of the system a magnetometer that detects magnetic files, a GPS that allows to obtain the real position, a bridge to control the motor with encoders, and an XB for the telemetry. The integration of all these elements is possible thanks to a microcontroller that is the main responsible of the Kansas system. The system consists of two LiPo batteries, which power the Kansas electronic system with 7.4 voltage. An arm then regulates the same 5 voltage output that will power both a sensor part and a microcontroller, a Raspberry Pi, a camera, and a current and voltage sensor. In addition, the system has an amplification stage with a MOSFET and Nichrome that make possible the release of the parachute in our project. The flying software was designed use the NILAB software and the QMH architecture. It displays in real time the different type of parameters found in the Kansas sensor part, obtained thanks to the Kansas telemetry. When the Kansas starts to descend, the parachute is deployed by carrying a wire through its electromechanical system. After a few seconds, the parachute reaches equilibrium and the control system is activated with the wheels. The implemented control system is the PID, which covers measurement errors with the desired value. For simulation, we use MATLAB to sample real-time graphs. This is applied to detect the QR code and navigate to a fixed point using odometry. A Rovalu steerable parachute design was chosen because its flexible delta wind design allows us to modify the direction of movement provides aerodynamic stability and is less susceptible to turbulence. We train the model with freely accessible database containing thousands of images. During the constant device descent, we detect the query code using a single short detector method and send a pulse to stabilize the camera. The image is then cropped in the code using OpenCV library functions. Finally, a pulse is sent to signal mission completion. The bonus mission involves building a 2 degrees of freedom antenna rotator. Its goal is to autonomously point towards the constant to ensure continuous communication.